That's one KO in my record. I'm now 1 0. So it only makes sense that I call out the next opponent. So, I mean, I know you're watching this. What's up people, welcome back to another video. My name is Randolph and today we're doing a Q&A simply for the main fact that there are a lot more of you guys on the channel now. I thought why not do a Q&A, give you guys some more information and hopefully we can become better friends, you know? So, yeah, look, I'm, I'm looking out for you guys. Don't say I never do that. I asked you guys to send me some questions on Twitter, so I'm gonna go through those now. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram while you're at it. Might as well, but yeah. Let's just get into the video. How did you meet JJ and the boys? As far as JJ, I've known him for like ages. I've known him since he kind of started making YouTube videos. He used to use my music in his FIFA videos, etc. So then we started talking. Somehow, I don't know how, we ended up doing a song together. And then the rest is history. We did Hesky Time, the rap battles, Sweaty Goals, and then plenty more songs down the line. But yeah, that's JJ. I met Simon for the first time on the Sweaty Goals music video shoot. He helped us shoot that. And then I don't really know when I met the rest of the guys, maybe Insomnia, one of the events that they used to do. If you could delete one of the Sidemen's main or second channel, whose would it be and why? The easiest answer is to delete JJ's second channel because he doesn't even upload on that one. But that's cheating around the question. So I think that I would delete Simon's second channel mainly for the fact that in the evenings he would give me some more attention instead of going off and recording his second channel games. It gets lonely around here, man. If you could bring one fictional character to life no matter what world or dimension they are from who would it be and why I'm looking for two answers number one is Stitch from Lilo and Stitch but yeah I don't know why I just, I just love Stitch I've always liked him he just seems like a cool guy to hang out with so yeah I'd probably bring him to life I'd bring all the Pokemon to life because I love Pokemon man it's my childhood right there so yeah I'd say Stitch all of the Pokemon and then Right now, I'd bring Spider-Man to life because I can't wait to play that new game coming out. And no one around here wants to play it, man. If you could commit one crime without punishment, what would it be? If I could commit one crime without punishment? Ah, uh, I don't know, you know, this has this put me on the spot right here. I think it'd be like stealing, but not in the sense of just stealing something from the shop. You know when the program Hustle used to be on back in the day? Or like Ocean's Eleven? Basically, when I was a kid, I used to want to beat a con man because I used to watch those shows and those films. So yeah, if I could commit a crime without getting punished for it, it would be stealing, but not in the sense of just robbing a bank or anything like that. I'd be clever with it. Just pickpocket like a 10 pound note out of someone's pocket or do like a heist of a casino. That would be cool. How do you even start making a song? Do you start with the lyrics or the beat or does it just come to you? Honestly, it just depends. Sometimes I'll start with the beat. Sometimes I'll have like a few lyrics in my head. Then I'll build the beat around that and I'll kind of do them both together. I'll have a few lyrics. I'll start the beat. Then I'll do some more lyrics and I kind of like make the song like that. But though, sometimes it does just come to you, like you say. Sometimes you will just be sat there doing something completely different. You'll get an idea in your head. You can't do anything else but then go and get that idea out there. If you had to never speak to a friend ever again, who would it be? Probably JJ. Yeah, I'd definitely say JJ. I, I wish that I could just use him for his clout and his relevancy and then not have to actually speak to him. That'd be pretty cool. I'm gonna answer this question here now because everyone keeps asking about it. I'm gonna make a video on this subject when it's all resolved, but basically someone asked, what's going on with slow motion? What's your opinion on the Deji, Jake, and JJ and Logan fight? Well, I've already given my opinion on both of those fights, so go and check that out on my channel after this video. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and just, yeah. Get involved. What or who inspired you to do music? I've said this quite a few times on the channel, but for those who are new and have never heard me say it, the person who inspired me to make music is 50 Cent. I love that guy. I still love that guy to this day. I learned how to rap because of him. I used to listen to all his old music, all the old G-Unit radios, etc. And literally, I make music because of that guy, single-handedly. So yeah, Curtis, if you're watching this, I love you, man. What countries have you traveled to also love your vid? Okay, so this year has been one of the best years of my life. I've been very fortunate for the places that I've been able to go this year. I'm very grateful and I'm very blessed. So thanks to you guys for helping with that. And also thank you to JJ for just, I don't know man, just backing me and supporting me with this whole thing. So for those who don't know, I've been filming for JJ's channel a lot this year. And because of that, I've been able to go to America like a few times, been to Vegas, LA, been to New York with Simon, I've been to Canada, I've been to Vegas again. So yeah, it's just been a crazy year. Apart from that, I've been to Disney World a few times with my wife, Turkey, I love Turkey. I've been to Germany, Italy, Spain, quite a few places in Europe and yeah I've been to a lot of places man what do you think about Logan and Jake after the fight well I mean they're still Logan and Jake they're still pretty annoying guys but there's a lot of respect for anyone who steps into the ring on that scale so fair play shout out to them what undercard fight would you like to see at the next event I guess there are a few I could mention here I would like to see face sensei fight again he put on a good show. Maybe he could find a bit more of a tougher opponent. I know people have been saying Adam Salah. I think it'd be cool to see Joella fight again at the next fight. I don't know who he is going to fight. Maybe Gib. I mean, that, that would be a sick fight. Deji as well. I don't know who he's going to fight. I'd like to see all three of those people back on the next undercard. What's your favorite song you've ever made? I have to say Slow Motion. That is the most recent song that I released. I know, guys, I'm working on more music. It's coming out soon. 
But yeah, I think Slow Motion is the best song I've made. It's the favorite song I've made. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of that one. Best album and song of the year. Post Malone definitely has to have the best album of the year so far. Like every track on Beer Bongs and Bentleys is just a banger. Like each track is just a standalone track. It's unreal. What an album. Best song of the year. Also, it has to be Rockstar. Did Rockstar come out this year? I think it did, yeah. That is just an unreal song and it did huge numbers and it was just... It was a banger. A lot of people asking when the album or EP is dropping. Right now, I've got no plans to do either of those things. I'm just gonna be releasing singles. Are you boxing anyone in the future? Well. Woo. That's right. Yeah, JJ, how's that jab? I mean, do you have any other punches? You got hooks? Okay, ooh, that's a powerful hook. Ooh, okay. Ooh, ooh, okay. Alright, this one. Yeah? This is a combo. I did that. So that's that's down, yeah? That's one KO in my record. I'm now 1 0. So it only makes sense that I call out the next opponent. So, I mean, I know you're watching this. Connor, I don't know that's your real name. You'd like to go out there thinking you're Russian, Constantine. But I know it's Connor. We all know it's Connor. You're a fake, mate. Me and you next. 1v1. I'm gonna wear these gloves. I'm gonna wear the champion's gloves. I'm ready. If you're ready, let me know the time and the place. I'm down. I was doing sick and subs. I, over I overtook you. Uh -huh. I was doing bits. Uh -huh. And then. You came out of nowhere and absolutely obliterated me. But you know what that is? The only reason that is is because you directed a music video for KSI. What a bitch. Well, guess what, Connor? Yeah? I'm directing the next music video for KSI. Oh, s wait, what? Yeah. Your next track, I'm directing it. Nah, nigga, you ain't, you ain't doing that. Well, you, you nah, said I could. Nah, 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 that ain't happening. But I need the views. Nah, mate. <laughs> We're not, we're not, we're not doing that. <laughs> Alright, well whatever. Con, I'm still beat you in the ring, in the subscribers count. Connor, who do you think you are? 